thing you got to have is a go to take down. Number two, what did I say you got to do? Get away how long? Under 20 seconds. So if he throws you down to the mat, the clock starts. 1,001, 1,002. And the sooner you have a sense of urgency to get out, amazing how many times I've seen guys get broken, right? Getting takedowns. Broken. You take a guy down, and they expect to get a little break. And they don't get a break. And that guy's out. All right? And he might get taken down again. They're expecting to get a little bit of a break. But that guy don't give a break. And they're out. And then all of a sudden, the match is long. And the guy that trains the hardest, which you can all control. You can all control your effort bottom with your training. You can all control your third period. You can't control the first period. Well, Charlie here, I don't know how dang tough he is. I can't control the first period much. A little bit. We'd be ready to go. He might just be better than me. He might just be faster than me. Right? But I can control, start to control things in the second and third period with my toughness and my training and all that kind of stuff. So remember, bottom, got to be able to get away. Make it a contest, make it a game. But nobody's going to ride you for 20 seconds. It's a mentality. You got to be good from two positions. You got to be good from neutral or, or referee's position, and you got to be good from transition when you get taken down. That's the two places you got to master. All right, the third area you got to have. You don't have to be a guy that can ride somebody a whole period, but what you do have to be, what you do have to do to be really good guys in this space, that's what we're here to do, aren't we? Right, none of us are. Charlie, you're a state champ, right? Right? Let's just say my record in high school is 10 and 20. And you pin me Friday night, right? My record is 10 and 20. You're gonna go to school on Monday and brag? Right, if you pin Charlie, you're gonna go brag? Maybe. Yeah, right? We're here to beat the good guys. We're here to beat the good guys. You don't have to ride the good guys out. But you got to stay on and finish periods on top. So if Charlie and I are wrestling, Charlie, come on. Right? I take him down. Charlie comes back. There's 15 seconds to go in the first period. Bottom hand set. Right? I'm going to head 2 nothing. Right? 15 seconds to go. We're in the state finals, national finals. Let's make it big. NCAA finals. Me and Charlie. You got no chance, Charlie, by the way. But anyway, 2 nothing. Okay? Bottom hand set, top man on. What's Charlie want the score to be at the end of the first period, but 15 seconds later? What's he want the score to be? Two to one. Two to one. Maybe if he gets lucky, it's two to two, he can reverse it. What do I want the score to be? Two zero. Two zero. You know how many NCAA championships have been won by one point in the history of wrestling? Thousands. So me not giving him that one point is huge. I gotta be able to ride for 15 seconds without hitting this. So that means I gotta stay active. This isn't riding somebody for 15 seconds. Okay? In college, they'll call you right away. If you got a good high school rep, he's gonna call you too. So you gotta figure out a way, you gotta have a short term ride. Just like we had to have kind of a series on our feet, combinations. I gotta have a series of things. Maybe it's a chop, maybe it's a double five block, but everything's gotta progress and stay active. That's what a short time ride means. Short time ride. So when you write down number three, you gotta have a short time ride. So at the end of that first period, it's not two to one, it's two to nothing. So I got an extra point that I might need at the end of the match to get my hand raised. That's big, right? Because Charlie's a stud. That's big, that's big. So maybe it's a P8, boom, double five block, right? 1,001 went off the clock. Now there's 14 seconds to go. Left boot, right boot, now there's 12 and a half seconds to go. Bump, bump, bump. Now there's 10 seconds to go. I can't stall yet. Now he's working here, he's keeping busy. Right? No chance of getting hit for stalling. Because if I get hit at the end of the match, the end of the first period for stalling, a lot of referees are looking to hit you again. Me, that was Pete's combo, double five block. My combo is St. John, a lot of us guys that grew up in Iowa, we attack ankles. Right? We, my, my combo is right here. Boom, five block, bump him. Ankle, how long is the ref gonna let me hang here? Five seconds, fight me back a little bit, Charlie. Now I'm down to 10 seconds, but it's not over yet. So I gotta jump to here, and I get rid. Now we're at eight, and jump across. Get away, Charlie, don't even think so big, right? I gotta stay busy. I gotta stay busy. The totally different mindset, it's kind of to be quite honest, the way that you guys might think, or the way you might even be coached, 
is, man, I just got to get to the end of that period, no matter how ugly it is, and let's hope I don't get hit for salt. Instead, you got to be proactive. You got to like really get it. So chops, double thigh block, maybe one ankle leg in, but it's got to be, you know what, I got 15 seconds, and the thing is, I'm going to keep him on his belly. 15 seconds, I want to get into his belly. If you have that mindset, versus, oh, jeez, 15 seconds, I'm going to do whatever I how to do. I'm going to grab his shoestrings, I'm going to hold on, get my drift. That's how you keep yourself bigger and better at the end. Okay? Any questions? All right, what's number one? Three things you got to do to be great. Take Technically, down. what's that? Go to takedown. Go to takedown. Come on, be a nerd when you leave here. So you have a go-to takedown. What's number two? 15 to 20 seconds, you got to get away. As a college coach, let me stop there for one second. When I go out and watch guys, you know, the number one thing I look for in the bottom, I want to see that they can do when they get to college because it's going to make them more successful. It's going to make it, make it easier for them to be successful. Give me a look for them. One move. Stand up. Stand up. It's hard, but it's the most effective. Because the more I stand up, the pressure's on me, the back guy. The more, the more he stands up on me, the pressure for me is to keep returning him. I'm going to get hit for stalling. Versus trying nothing against the switch, nothing against the sit and roll. Well, actually, there is. They're just not as effective against good guys at the top. You miss a switch, where are you? On your side. You miss a roll, where are you? On your side or your back. You miss a sit out, where are you? On your butt. You miss a stand up, where are you? place that makes stand, okay? Because the, because the onus is on him to take me to the mat. So really, really, really spend a lot of time doing stand-ups. Right? And there, it doesn't matter if it's an inside leg stand-up or outside leg stand-up. But when you go in and drill and you get that 25 minutes and the coach gives you the keys or you got a club you can go to, here's what I would do. I'd spend 20, 25 minutes on drilling on my feet, get really good at high crotch single legs, then I'd spend five, ten minutes on the bottom, left side, right side stand-ups, and then I'd finish learning my sequence for my short time ride. Just like we learned our sequence right here, here's my sequence. We drill our sequence to get to, to that 15 seconds. With me, right, I'm going bump, thigh block, angle, pressure. He's going to push back. Okay? I'm going to work that. Now I can chop left or right. Yates is, is Referee blows the whistle, boom, pressure forward, double thigh block, leg in, leg in. I don't know exactly what he did from there, but it worked, okay? But it worked. See what I'm saying? So you got to figure that out. I mean, you just can't come in and do it like this. You can't do it like this. You can't come in. No, I've got to break it down. This guy's good. i got to break it down so it's thigh block, pressure, present the ankle, control the ankle, get your pressure. Now when you chop, you just can't chop the chop. You gotta chop to catch the wrist. So you got something solid. So when he rolls back down, he can't base out and stand up. I took one leg away. I got big in the leg. Got it? I think I'm about my time, right coach? Any questions? Anybody? Everybody, let's give Coach Dresser a big hand.